Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the question is, how do we know which plant has which type of roots? So now by roots are present below the ground. So how do we know by looking at the plant that what kind of root is present? So here we are going to talk about the relation between venation and root types. So what is venation? The arrangement of veins on the leaf. So there is a relationship between how veins are arranged on the leaf with the type of roots that is present for that plant. So we will try to understand that relation. So we learned that there are two types of venation, reticulate venation and parallel venation. So when it comes to parallel venation, it is something like this. So let's say this is the leaf. So parallel venation would mean that the veins will run parallel to each other, something like this. So you see the veins are parallel to each other, so that's parallel venation. So when you look at the leaves of that plant, so you do not need to uproot that plant to see what kind of root is present there. You just need to observe the leaves of that plant. Now if you see that they have parallel venation, that means the root type would be fibrous. So if the venation is parallel, that means the root type is fibrous. And what if the venation is reticulate? In that case, it is just the reverse. So in this case, let's look at, so let us look at these examples of plants where we have vena parallel venation and therefore fibrous roots. So think of grass. So have you ever observed the leaves of grass? So if you observe them closely, you will see that they have parallel venation. And if you want to cross verify, just observe their roots. You will see that they also have fibrous roots. So in a similar way, when you look at uh, other plants like wheat or maize, so here you see a maize plant. So when you look at their leaves, they have parallel venation. When you look at their roots, they have fibrous roots. So there is a connection. So you can remember it this way. PF, that is parallel venation, fibrous roots. So PF is something which is easy to remember. And if the venation is reticulate, for example, in a rose plant, so the venation is reticulate. So what happens in reticulate venation? You have one midrib or the main vein and from the main vein you have veinlets arising, something like this. So this is how you have it in case of a reticulate venation. So in reticulate venation, so this is linked to the tap root system. So in tap root system also you have one main root and then from the main root you have branches arising. So that's tap. So if the venation is reticulate then the root system is tap root. So examples would be carrot, rose, these are examples of reticulate venation with tap root system. So RT that is reticulate venation would have tap root system. PF that is parallel venation would have fibrous roots. So this is how you can remember it and this is how very easily you can determine that which plant has which type of root. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.